Yo guys, Octavagon here, back in at you with a PvP multiplayer tool today. What I have is a way to display every single person's health bar in the game. This is really cool and I'm going to demonstrate it right now on how it works. So today I have YomoGuy14 to help me uh, demonstrate how this works. YomoGuy, are you ready? Yeah, okay, sweet. So begin. So we're just gonna do some PvP and you can see that his health health bar will drop with his dang it. With his real health. Yes. Be my expert arching skills. Oh snap. Uh, we're just gonna play to the first best out of three, I guess. Dang it. Quit running away. Oh, thanks for healing me. Ah, oh. <laughs> we just slayed each other. Uh, my spawn screwed up. Never mind that. I guess we're not going to best out of three. Let me just tell him, teleport him over here to me. I guess we're just outside the arena. Uh, Yomo guy, can you stand stand still, please? So right now I'm just gonna demonstrate how all this works. So if I was to hit him, you can see that his health bar goes down according to the amount of health that he has. Uh, just stand still, please. So if you see next to his name, dang it, <laughs> next to his name, you can see that there are 20 little tick marks. That stands for every single half of a heart. So every single bar that's vertical stands for one heart. So there's 10 of these bars, you have 10 hearts. There's 20 of these bars and 20 half hearts. So yeah, it's pretty logical how this works. And so if I was to just hit him, you can see that the bars go down. Uh, it actually only tracks though. So say that he lost two and a half hearts. It would still say that his bar or it would still display that only two parallel or two vertical bars were gone and two half bars or four half bars were gone. So I hit him again. Uh, you can see that three of them and that. And then it changes colors uh, the more you get down. Once you're halfway down your health, it becomes yellow. And then once you are one fourth of the way down, it becomes red. But so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. And yeah. I can kill him, and that happens. But, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Let me just head on over and show you guys how that works. Alrighty, guys. So we are back. Uh, how this actually all works. So we have a comparator right here powering itself, causing it to create a half-tick clock. So that's how all these command blocks are being powered. So we have 20 command blocks here. If you would only be tracking all the players but they were all just the generic white color for their name you would only need 10 but since I have two team colors we have the blue team and the yellow team or the gold team we have 20 so depending on how many teams you're gonna have it's the amount of teams you're gonna have plus or the amount of teams you're gonna have times 10 yeah, I think I did that right. <laughs> but so anyways, how this works is that we have 10 teams for, for every color. I'm just going to display the aqua team because it's the same exact thing except you're joining a different team on the gold team. So with the aqua team, the command is scoreboard teams join and then this is the first out of the 10 teams. This team is called AH20. What this stands for is aqua which is the color health which is health 20 so this is what it's going to display when you have 20 or 19 health uh, the team name can be whatever you want it to be that's just what I made it so but what it actually does is that it joins you to that team if your health is between 20 and 19 I'm tracking that through the 
the criteria for the objective health. I just made an objective health and it tracks your health. Pretty simple. And then score aqua. Minimum one and maximum one. That's just basically if you want it to be part of the aqua team you would set yourself to have a score of aqua one and minimum one. That's not necessary unless you have colors. But yeah so really it just joins you to the age 20 team when you have 20 or 19 health which is represented by those two ticks on the far right and then over here if you have 18 or 17 health it joins you to the age 18 team so this is the second out of the 10 teams for the aqua members and then 16 or 15 it joins you to the age 16 once again, it, these names can be whatever names you want them to be. Just for simplicity, I made it that at age 16. And then if you have 2 or 1 health, I just skipped all the way down to the very end. You are on the AH2 team. So yeah, it's a pretty simple concept on how it actually works. I'm going to head on over to an MBT editor and show you the, uh, the scoreboard.dat file to show you how the coding works so you can actually see your health bar. Okie doke guys, so now we are over here in NBT Explorer, this is just an external NBT editor for Minecraft, any of them will do. I'm going to head on over to my saves and my save folder, I'm going to go to, to the map which was called Minecraft PvP Tools, I'm going to go inside the data folder, and then into the scoreboard.dat file, and then into the data... Eh? <laughs> and after the data I'm gonna go into teams so it says 20 entries that's because I have 20 teams they are displayed right here so all these teams uh, I think this one's AH20 yeah so AH20 that was the team that would be your team if you had between 20 and 19 health so the prefix would be the section symbol B and what that did was that would just make your player color look aqua so that's what the prefix was and then your suffix which came after your name is the actual health bar so for this one I have section A and the section is just the name of that symbol that you use for colors or, or any text effects so section A and then I have 10 pipes but in Minecraft they look like broken pipes so it represents 20 half hearts I think or I think that's what it looks like and then section R and that just resets all of it so your text will be normal colored so yeah that's how that works uh, if I was to head down to let's see is there an 18 okay well this is GH18 this is for the gold team so instead of AH it's GH basically the same thing except the prefix is semicolon or not semicolon <laughs> section 6 which is the gold the gold fo format code and then for this one it is section A and then it's nine of these broken pipes and then it's section 8 with a broken pipe right after that and so that looks like one of your health bars have gone down so that's how it kinda gives the illusion that you can actually see their custom health bar but really it's just your team being changed and then in the reset if I was to head on down to a lower one like for instance uh, GH4 okay so GH4 it's if you were to have four or three health while you were on the gold team uh, the prefix section 6 and then the suffix would be section C now C is the code for red so your bar is going to be red now with the two ticks that you have left and then it's going to be section 8 for 8 other broken pipes so 2 plus 8 10 blah 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 uh, let's see if I can find the other one real quick yeah so with GH6 so the suffix for this one is section E that makes your bars yellow and then section 8 which makes the bars gray so it looks like they're disappearing or depleting and then section R but 
so yeah that's pretty much how this works I'm just gonna head on over back to alrighty then guys so we are back in the server and hopefully any of the stuff that I've been saying for the past 10 minutes has made somewhat of sense to you uh, just as one last example I'm just gonna go into survival mode and showed it showed you that it does work good job good job jive <laughs> So I'm just going to splash myself with a harming potion and you can see that my health bar is going down on the right. Uh, I'm going to splash Jeff, or Yomo guy. Ah, d dang it. Let me just do something real quick. Game mode. Sur survival. Yomo guy. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. And then we can just heal ourselves with this healing potion. But, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. If you guys want m more of these, just head on over. Hit that subscribe button. It does mean a lot. And if you guys have any ideas or suggestions or comments, don't forget to comment. Don't be shy. You can even swing on by and say hi if you guys want to. So, peace out.